Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 2130th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Traders, my apologies that I have been doing these desktop shoots night after night, but in reality, COVID, once again, corona disease, my editor's family, and I've got three different editors, but they're all in the same family, that my editor's family, my, video, my videographers, if you will, who come and film and edit my videos each evening, their mom is diagnosed with corona, and they cannot come here for 14 days, and I am basically forced to film these videos for you for the next 10. So likelihood is I won't be in front of a camera for the next few days, but we'll get through this together. Uh, I wish my family, my friend's family luck. I mean, I love them to death. I'm sure they'll be healthy. Let's get on with the show. Trading is risky, as you know. Never trade without stops. Know that this is a risky game and you can lose more than you have in your trading accounts. Never sell options naked, short, ever, ever, ever. Don't listen to anyone who tells you to do that. And just know that this is not suitable for all traders or all trading accounts, all right? You really do need to know this is very risky. You gotta be a pro, otherwise you will lose your shirt. For you pros out there that understand what's going on, let's check this out. So in last night's video, I mentioned that the market was pointing towards the downside because Omni was red. And what did we do? Two fat winning trades, one in E-mini S&P, one in the Russell. We got short, the market broke, we got out, we sidestepped, whatever happened next doesn't matter, and now the Omni signal has changed to green for trading on Thursday in E-mini S&P and NASDAQ. In fact, it's not actually green in the Russell but it is green for E-mini S&P and NASDAQ, and those are the markets we will go after. So for now, channel being challenged again, but we're back in the channel. But you see this dotted blue line right here? Let me make it a little bigger for you. This is the same line I showed you in last night's video. Let's go look at that. I showed you this exact resistance line. I told you this is simple resistance analysis. When you have an established trend line, it's usually valid when you get to it again. We have to get past that. But there's a lot of room for a day trade between here and there, so I will take Omni's day trade and see what happens. Now, we'll have our stops in. Omni is bullish, but I will tell you it will take a really decent size pullback for us to get long. You know what I mean? It settled up here at the highs, we're looking for a drop before we buy. So I don't know if we're going to get filled. It's got to be a decent-sized drop if we're going to buy E-mini S&P. Now, let's go take a look at the NASDAQ. How's that shaping up? NASDAQ basically is just relentless, bearish analysis, bearish anything, COVID, nothing seems to stop this NASDAQ. Omni had a one-day sell signal. It went right back into a buy signal. As of Wednesday night for trading Thursday, Omni Green in your NASDAQ. So, once again, if you recall, that for whatever reason, the street started to pay attention to a very, very simplified piece of analysis called the 20-ball moving average. It's like the first thing that you'd learn if you were 12 and taking an analysis course, the 20-ball moving average, right? 4, 9, 18, 20. They teach all the lower ones. Well, for whatever reason, the street jumped on it right here and started paying attention to it in your NASDAQ. That blue line is the 20-ball moving average, and look at all the bounces from it. Major bounce from here. Now, Omni finally gets a red signal on the red day, and it goes right back to green, just like that. Boom. Now Omni's green signal. So we made our cash for trading on Wednesday, once again in Russell and even the S&P. We didn't get filled in any NASDAQ trades. But the NASDAQ is bullish and looks pretty good to me. There's nothing wrong with that chart for now. We'll see what happens as time passes. But as day traders, the Omni says jump. I ask how high. I don't argue with Omni. 
Now, let's go look at another vehicle that's been very interesting lately, and that would be gold. Gold has been very, very interesting, as you know. So I basically made a projection, or Omni made a projection for 1900, nothing at all goes straight up. So it will get there, but that's the projection that we've made. Since then, it's actually gone up all the way to 1829, 1828 and a half, somewhere right around there, today on Wednesday. So gold is starting to go. There's a green Omni for trading gold. We are now above this triple top, right? One, two, three. The blue line would represent it. The high of the triple top would be here. We are above that. I like seeing that. So we would buy pullbacks in gold for trading on Thursday. Traders, that's about it. For anything else, join me in my live trading room at livewithoscar.com. There are no credit cards required. Just come on in. I'll tell you right now, last month, and I do not do any of the accounting. It's third-party accounting. But had you followed the Omni last month, according to the accounting, you would have made $20,000-plus U.S. following the Omni signals last month. We're already up pretty strong this month, and it's only the 8th going into the 9th. So if you want, join me in my free trading room, and I cannot promise that we'll do the same next month. That was last month, is what it is. But Omni's pretty consistent. But we did do over 20 grand last month if all Omni trades were followed. If you want to join in that, join me. No credit cards are required to get into the trading room. And then we can talk about the trading signals once you're there. And that all happens at livewithoscar.com. All right, traders, I will see you in the trading room. You know what? Before I finish this, let me, let me just show you another view here. Hold on a moment. I got something else in my brain here. Let's go take a look at gold in a weekly fashion. Look at this weekly. I showed this to you in last night's video as well. We were just getting above this red line which represents the older highs of 2012. I'll go back there for you if you want. All the way back to 2012's highs. <coughs> All right, so now we're looking at get it, we've gotten above that in a weekly fashion, which is long and usually it has meaning, have broken out of a bull flag above the 2012 highs, and a very strong-looking market. That's your gold on the weekly bar. Remember, join me at livewithoscar.com and to remember, remember to do this. Trade, trading brings a lot of emotions out of us. There's nothing you can do about that except for fight them off and do not make trading decisions based upon your emotions. Plan a trade and trade that plan. I promise I will teach you that at livewithoscar.com if you get to know me. Barring that, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Trade is rock and roll. Come join me at livewithoscar.com.